What's cracking guys? Chris here again doing another fish room vlog video. Yesterday I asked you guys what you wanted to see videos on and the answer came in. Jack Dempsey fish. I feel like I've done like a hundred different videos on Jack Dempsey's but still uh, we can do some more right because there's obviously a demand for it. So I have a breeding pair of Jack Dempsey's in this tank and the reason they're probably not successfully breeding is because obviously this tank is full of predators. And uh, Jack Dempsey fish have always, always been one of my favorite fish on the planet. I mean, look at, look at the coloration of this fish right here. Like if you're telling me like that, look at those blues. Once, once you get the right background for Jack Dempsey's, black background, dark substrate, a nice uh a nice lighting and they're just going to explode in coloration like it's no joke guys look at these fish like it's ridiculous and uh they're just the red striping on top of the top in there is absolutely absurd but guys today's video is actually going to be my top five favorite tank mates for jack dempsey fish because um, that's what a lot of people were asking about was what tank mates to keep with Jack Dempsey's. Also, also, I got another new flower horn. So I didn't expect this one. I got a pretty good deal on it as far as a trade deal. He's a little timid right now in the tank, but I'm hoping that he's really going to come out of his shell a little bit. Um, he's a pretty cool tank. He's a pretty cool fish. He's in this 75 gallon tank and um, it's weird because he's acting kind of timid, but as soon as I go to work on a sponge filter or something, he tries to kill me. Like, uh, see the sponge filter? The flow is really slow on that one right there. And I continuously like keep adjusting it, but yet he tries to kill me. It's this weird thing. There we go. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come kill me. Come kill me. Uh, my other flower horn, uh, he's not doing the greatest. What happened was uh, he broke this fish down here my purple rose queen broke down the barrier or the divider per se and tried to kill this flower horn and that purple rose queen destroyed this flower horn if i'm being uh if i'm being honest because uh i didn't even i didn't even talk about it a lot on video because this fish was so beat up that i was almost like embarrassed to put him on video so i had him in i i, I was dosing salt in the tank doing strict water changes and I kind of just left the tank alone. That's why it's covered in algae. I will be cleaning the algae soon, but I just didn't, you know, when a fish gets sick, every layer of stress that you add to its environment, like if I were to go in there and just deep clean everything while he's on like his deathbed with and being beat up, it can really, it triggers new levels of sickness. So literally I left the light off. I even put a blanket on there for a couple days just let him do his thing. And I blocked off the, the scenery from seeing the other fish because he can see the other fish through the other tanks. And that can kind of sometimes stress them out as well. But guys, let's let's get into the my top five favorite tank mates for Jack Dempsey fish. I'll flip the cam so you're not sitting here looking at my face. Uh, all right guys, make sure to like this video and let me know in the comment section if you've had any issues with tank mates being kept with your Jack Dempsey fish. All right, so let's get started on the list. The top five tank mates for Jack Dempsey fish. And what I'll do is I'll work from the bottom up in hierarchy order of which I feel is the best tank mate for Jack Dempsey fish. Number five on the list is the fire mouse cichlid. This is a South American cichlid, super colorful. Um, it's a mild mannered fish. I did a video on them yesterday. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Uh, look at the, you can tell it's a, it's called a fire mouth just because of its orange coloration on its belly. And these fish are awesome because they're not overly aggressive. You may run into issues if they're breeding with each other. And you can tell here, fish are trying to breed in this tank because they're building up the gravel here and trying to lay a bed to lay eggs in. So you have to be careful. If you see fish kind of chasing away each other and they're kind of claiming a territory like that, chances are they may be trying to breed. One way you can uh, try to cut that out is by removing uh, males and females. Maybe you only keep males together. See, I probably have some females in here and that could be an issue. Also, number four on the list is the green terror cichlid. And some of you guys might be saying, well, Chris, some of these fish get pretty aggressive. That is, that is true. There's a green terror cichlid right there, also known as a green or a green or gold psalm. Sorry, I can't speak. Um, these fish, 
these cichlids are aggressive and a lot of people always tell me, hey, you shouldn't condone keeping these fish together, but they can be kept together effectively if you know what you're doing and what to watch for. Number one, like I said, the breeding is the biggest thing you need to watch for because once fish try and breed, uh, thing, things just get more aggressive. So what you can do is try to remove the males and females, try to break up the relationship per se, and then you're gonna have less issues. Number three on the list, this is one of my favorite fish on the planet right now. This is the Acara, and this is an electric blue Acara. I used to have five of these fish, and I sold them for a pretty dollar. Um, someone offered me some really good money, and I kind of regret selling them, but this is kind of what I'm in the industry for, to sell fish. And the, these electric blue Acaras lately, like, they're just, this might be the most stunning fish in the industry right now so if you're looking for a new cichlid to keep electric blue acaras look at this thing like you can't even tell everyone that comes in here is just wanting these fish and i only have one left i'm kind of sad but electric blue acaras guys uh raise these from juveniles use a dark gravel a darker background some good lighting and just feed them some good foods and that's what your fish is going to look like that's absurd that's a freshwater fish that's number three on the list Acaras, all these fish are pretty similar. Acaras, green terrors, fire mouth cichlids, as far as aggression levels, they're not gonna be super aggressive until they try and breed. Number two on the list is the parrots, the blood parrots. Blood parrots are awesome fish. It, it seems like either you get a super, super aggressive parrot or else they're kind of just like a dumbo and they don't care about anything and they're the best dither fish on the planet. It, it seems like either you get an overly aggressive one or they're just, they're the most laid back, dumbfounded fish on the planet. Like, look at these guys. I could probably put them with anything and they just make for the best, best tank mates for like aggressive cichlids like Jack Dempsey fish. So number two on the list is other Jack Dempsey fish. And some people might argue me on this and say, well, Chris, if I do that, they could possibly breed, but um, you got to be careful and, tr and know when these fish are breeding. You know what I mean? So that's going to be part of taking care of cichlids or South Americans and just cichlids in general, because once they try and breed, the whole game changes entirely. So, uh, Jack Dempsey fish is number two on the list. Number one on the list, guys, this is going to be super, super cool. Some of you guys may disagree with it. I really don't care. It's the Jaguar cichlid. These guys are pretty similar matter to Jack Dempsey fish, and they're just kind of like, Jaguar cichlids for the most part don't want to just kill everything like everyone thinks they do. And I mean, don't get me wrong, some males are absolutely psychotic and need to be hospitalized in, in a sense of they're just complete chaos. But for the most part, I would say 70% of them are pretty mild mannered. Uh, I've, I've kept dozens of them and they're not overly aggressive. What's cool about these fish is they get a lot bigger than the Jack Dempsey's. So they're not going to, uh, I mean, these are going to be a more heavy aggressor than a Jack Dempsey fish. So they're actually, they're going to be the tank boss versus the Jack Dempsey fish. So um, let me flip the cam here, guys. I'm going to move this LED a little bit. God dang, that thing's bright. I wanna get a good view on these Jack Dempsey's. Look at that. Absolutely stunning, guys. Jack Dempsey's, um, that's a male and female. I wanna, I, wanna, I wanna get them in their own separate tank and start breeding them because I think that would be super, super cool. Look at them, I cannot believe it. Actually, I can, but all right, let me flip the cam here quick. So yeah, that's pretty cool. My top five favorite tank mates for Jack Dempsey fish. And it's a bit ironic because I have all the fish in here in this, in my office, little fish room down here. And the reason is because these are the fish I'm keeping all the time. Like I constantly have all these cichlids on hand because they're my favorite. I really wanted to add severums to the mix, but um, you know, there's so many good cichlids to keep with each other like this, that uh, the world is endless. Some, some, some tank mates that I disagree with are Texas cichlids. Texas cichlids are not a good tank mate, uh, or Midas cichlids or flower horns. There's a couple that uh, I've thought might work in the past and they just don't work. So without further ado guys, I'm gonna head on out. Let me know in the comment section what videos you guys wanna see next. I've been busy working on my shop. It's uh, 
Life is great and give this video a thumbs up for the love of fish keeping. I'm just gonna keep grinding and keep making videos cause you guys keep talking me up and uh, I'm gonna keep doing it. So, all right guys.